I'm going to ask you a question. This question comes to us from Noah C. Tench. Um, and Noah asks, well, he just says, I've heard lots about bullet journaling. What is it? What is it? What with is bullet capital, journaling? With a capital is. What um, is it? Yeah, so we are not like bullet journaling experts, but we know enough to be dangerous. I feel like I can safely explain what it is. I know enough to really appreciate everybody else doing it because yeah, I, I, I can't. Yeah, like most things, we don't really know what we're talking about, but we can at least point you to other people who know what they're actually talking about. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's first off, I'll say there's lots of YouTube channels who like really focus on bullet journaling. So if you are just already on YouTube, just literally type in bullet journal and you'll find more than you can handle about ways to do the method and different inspirational things that people do with it um, but i'll explain the basics of it so it's a i think at, the, at its essence it's a personal productivity method so it's a system for organizing tasks thoughts ideas dates these types of things um, so the basic concept is you use a dot grid journal with a series of shorthand markings like bullets dashes x's checks that kind of thing that all mean something some status of where that item you know, lives in your productivity process, right? Um, and you can make it up to be basically whatever you want, but they give you some kind of guidelines um, about what to do. And then as you either accomplish those things or recategorize them to things to do at a future date or whatever, you can mark it and then you move it to, you know, kind of like roll it forward to the next page. So you, you're basically starting with a blank journal. You're taking an approach of organizing your thoughts, ideas, tasks, things like that. And then you're kind of developing the, the journal as you go. So it's a little different than like a day planner or something like that, where it's very set format and you have, it's super structured. You are, you are essentially kind of like taking an approach towards organizing your stuff, but with a lot of flexibility to adapt it to, to meet whatever needs that you have. And that's largely why there's so much content out there about bullet journaling is because, you know, the original creator, Ryder Carroll, um, who has bulletjournal.com. He's got a YouTube channel and stuff like that. So he's got some really good videos out there that explain the very basics of bullet journaling and why he created it. Um, but he um, created this system really as a way to help him organize his thoughts and then you know hone that system over years and shared it with everybody and it really kind of went viral. Um, you know, it's been around for hmm, six, seven years at this point, probably Drew. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, after the first couple of years, it really started to take off. And now it's got a pretty good stronghold um, in the like, planner community there's a lot of people who are into you know scrapbooking and you know urban sketching and you know various other kind of side hobbies that associate with you know kind of you know journaling in general that uh have kind of bled over into the bullet journal space so you'll see a lot of people with like really artsy kind of influence into their bullet journals and then you'll see other people who use it much more as just like a no it's a it's a to-do list and you organize it so you can really adapt it and make it be kind of whatever you want it to be um but bulletjournal.com that's the um that's the site that that is the original um, and we also have a book uh, written by the creator, Ryder Carroll. It's called The Bullet Journal Method. So that explains not only the bullet journaling, how it works, but also kind of the, the methodology behind it and some, some, you know, introductory kind of practical ways that you can start to use it. Um, you know, it's, uh, I personally don't have a great productivity system of any kind, and I change them a lot. So I have made attempts at using the bullet journal with varying degrees of success, um, where it, you know, for me, having it as a mildly more organized to-do list um, is more helpful. You know, trying to, I basically have so many thoughts and ideas, I can't capture them all in one place. And so I use it more as sort of a filter. Like I will get stuff out of my head, put it onto the paper, and then kind of process it through my own very simplified bullet journal type process. And then mostly it kind of just lives there and I don't really go back and revisit it too much because I just have more ideas that keep coming into my head. So um, anyway, but it's, it's a good way to help capture it. It's a good way to, you know, be able to use your pens on a practical, like more daily basis because you can just keep a journal, a notebook with you. Um, you know, uh, Ryder originally collaborated with Leuchtsturm and actually came up with a official bullet journal notebook. So it's a Leuchtsturm journal it has three bookmarks it has the key in the 
uh, you know, open, open back cover or the back of the, what do you call this thing? It's not the first page, but the back of the front cover, right? The, there's a word for this page, right? It's not an insert talking, because there's not a wrap. Are you talking about the index? Yeah. But like, what's this called? It's like the, the, it's the cover. It's not an actual page. It's glued to the back of the cover. I don't know. I don't know book terms, but anyway, mm. it's there. It's like part of the book. You can't like tear it out. So it's, oh. it's a, there for easy reference for all the different like keys and markings and stuff like that. So, you know, just example, it's got like a bullet is a task. When you complete it, you can do an X. If you're moving it to a different page or a different part of the journal, you can migrate it. You know, all of the pages are numbered. So if you want to create an index, so there's like some basic framework that's in the bullet journal, actual product, got some little tips there. So there's an index that you can write the page numbers. So if you like want to have a high level look at what's happening this month, you can create, take one page and you make it for February. Like I'm thinking towards next month. And then I can just write down some of the things that I know are coming up in February. Well, then after that page, I can flip to February 1st. I can make a February 1st page and then I can know and reference back to the overall February page. But then, you know, so there's all kinds of different ways that you can go about it. Um, but that's the basic idea is you're taking more or less an open notebook and you are applying a very basic set of um, organization criteria and then just applying it to your, your, th your thoughts. That's, that's, that's pretty much the basics. That's about as much as I know. Great. And I'll link both the Ryder Carroll <laughs> book as well as hmm. the Leuchtturm bullet journal in the description. So if you want to pick one of those up, you can. There you go. 